In today's video, I wanna share with you some of my favorite paleo breakfast ideas so you don't have to rely on eggs on repeat. I'm going to have the links to all the recipes below this video, so make sure to check them out. Now, first up, my paleo pancakes. Fluffy, light and airy is exactly how I would describe these. They're made with cassava flour, baking powder, salt, non-dairy milk, eggs, and they pour right into a griddle. You can flip them, you can have the same texture that you've come to love from traditional pancakes, but paleo. I'm also gonna leave the link to my almond flour pancakes recipe if you prefer to use almond flour in your paleo recipes. Now guys, I have a recipe for strawberry chia seed jam that I love to spread over my almond flour bread. The jam is super easy to make and has no added sugar. I also love to dip that paleo bread in my shakshuka. It's that warm breakfast that comes together in one pan and the oven does all the work. Now speaking of putting the oven to work, I even have a paleo breakfast cookie recipe, but I'm not gonna get ahead of myself first I want to share a few other recipes because I know you want cookies for breakfast, but I wanna give you some options first, like these bacon and spinach frittata. Now, I just shared that recipe in my low-carb breakfast video, so make sure to check it out if you need paleo breakfasts that are also low-carb. Now, for days that you need paleo breakfast on the go, my mini quiches are always great. Now these are filled with veggies, they're poured into a muffin pan, they're baked to perfection, and they're easy to take on the go in your favorite container. I also love taking smoothies to go, and my coconut pie smoothie is rich, creamy, and delicious. It's got bananas, your favorite nut or nut-free butter, coconut milk, coconut flakes, a little vanilla, and ice. You're gonna blend that until it's super smooth and you're gonna pour it in a thermos or a to-go cup. Another favorite smoothie is my blueberry spinach smoothie. It's rich in color and nutrition and you cannot see any green specks. Now, I promise you more paleo breakfast ideas with no eggs and I have to tell you that this paleo oatmeal does not disappoint. No, it does not have oats and your blender is going to do all of the work. I simply add my cashews, my walnuts, my chia seeds, flax, almond milk, and cinnamon in my blender. I blend that up until it's super smooth. And after five minutes, you can heat it up on the stove or in the microwave, which is my preferred method for extra creaminess. Check out the thick consistency. It's super satiating and delicious. One overlooked ingredient in paleo breakfast when you're short on time are sweet potatoes. I have a video on this channel where I show you how to make sweet potato toast by slicing them and toasting them in your regular toaster or toaster oven. Now below, I'm gonna share with you some of my favorite ways to top them and give you more recipe ideas for those sweet potato toasts. I'm a eat a meal in a bowl kind of person, so that's why I love these paleo breakfast bowls. Most of the time, I prep them ahead by chopping the ingredients or even cooking all of them, so all I have to do is heat and eat. For example, my butternut squash breakfast hash is a favorite recipe of mine where I cook the ingredients in a pan, it's loaded with veggies, and the last minute, I just fry an egg and plate it right over the top. One easy tip that can make any savory oat bowl into a paleo-friendly breakfast bowl is to swap that oat base for cauliflower rice or even roasted veggies, which you can prep ahead and you kept in the fridge. You're gonna build your base, you're gonna top it with your favorite savory ingredients like pico de gallo, avocados, a fried egg, or bacon and egg, and you have a great bowl. Now, if you're a roasted veggie person, then just fill your bowl with veggies. You're gonna top it with a fried egg, some chopped bacon for good measure, and you have a delicious, favorite roasted vegetable breakfast bowl that you're gonna love. As a reminder, I'm gonna have the links to the recipes and the videos that I'm sharing with you below. And while you're down there, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. I share simple and delicious family-friendly recipes with you every single week. If you love baking and want some of those for breakfast, I've got you covered with these paleo baked goods. These blueberry coconut flour muffins are always a favorite. The batter comes together in your blender, guys. All you have to do is mix the eggs, the coconut milk, a little stevia if you use it, coconut oil, vanilla extract, coconut flour, baking soda, and salt. 
woo, you blend it, it'll thicken up really quickly. And then last minute, you fold your blueberries. See, I do this in the blender so I don't have to dirty another bowl. And then I scoop the batter in my lined muffin pan. I bake them to golden perfection and check out those blueberries. They practically melt into your muffin. They are delish. Oh, I also have this recipe for Paleo Morning Glory muffins I absolutely love. They are high in fiber and also really filling and inside of my cookbook, the best grain-free meals on the planet. It's another easy recipe to make in your blender or food processor with flax, walnuts, coconut flour, baking soda, salt, a little cinnamon, you add some raisins or dates, then eggs, oil, carrots, you're gonna scoop that mixture into your muffin pan, you're gonna bake it until they're ready and they are perfection. I told you cookies were coming, I saved these two recipes for last, but first, my grain-free blueberry scones. They are made with almond flour and coconut flour, honey, egg, almond milk, a little lemon zest, baking soda and salt. Then you're going to fold in your blueberries and using a biscuit cutter, I simply shape them into round circles so they hold their shape and look like scones. I'm gonna bake them until they're golden and guys, they are so epic. Even my kid loves them. Now guys, this paleo breakfast cookie is one you definitely want to print out the recipe ASAP. Yes, cookies for breakfast, why not? It's a filling recipe made with banana, almond butter or nut-free butter, honey, vanilla, and cinnamon. Then you add your coconut flour, hemp seeds, baking soda, and salt. You're going to combine the wet and the dry ingredients. Add some raisins if you want a bite of something sweet. You're going to scoop that batter into a baking sheet and bake until golden perfection. And after 15 minutes, you can have a nutritious cookie that you can enjoy for breakfast or after a workout like I do. Now remember to hit that red subscribe button as well as check the links below the video so you can make your paleo breakfast epic from now on.